Powell. Earth to Powell? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What is going on with you, anyway? Nothing. It's just exams and all that, you know? It's, I'm just trying to hang out till summer gets here, that's all. Come on in. Kevin? Kevin, one of your brothers sent me up. Uh... Andrew? What? Surprise? Uh... Have you met my cousin Powell, Andrew Carpenter, uh, Powell Lord, the third or fourth or something? Uh, Reverend, I'm gonna get you for that. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, Powell, wait up. So, what brings you around these parts? So if everybody finds out there's a man with a cloth on the premises, I think it's gonna put everybody into a panic. Right. Well, I'm gonna try to keep a low profile. This is important. What's the matter? It's not my mom. No. No, it is, it's nothing like that. <sighs> Kevin, I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Questions? Yes. About Marty Saybrook. Where's the fire? I was just looking for you guys. Yeah, we were looking for you, too. Doug Anderson said he let in some minister here to see Buchanan. Yeah, he's up in his room right now. What's he doing there? I don't know, but I do know one thing. There's a problem, a big problem. What do you mean? Kevin is on to something. I mean, he's been asking me questions about Marty. What'd you tell him? Nothing. Good. But, but Marty showed up at the country club when we were there yesterday. I didn't see her. Oh, Kevin did. He saw her freak out, and now he's asking me what it's all about. What it's all about? It's, it's about she knows to keep her mouth shut. What it's about. No, no, it's you not better that. understand that too, pal. It's not that easy. Kevin is no dope. He's onto, he's onto something. He's just grilling me about what went on here the night of spring fling. Went on around here. Okay, we had a party. Spring got flung. End of story. Can you get that simple concept through your head, pal? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What exactly did you tell him, pal? You didn't screw up on our story, did you? No, I told him when we went up to his room, Marty was already passed out, just like we agreed to say, but he's not buying it. In other words, you're screwed up. I am telling you, Kevin is onto something. This is getting away from us. You understand? We are going to get caught. You keep your voice down about this. Stop being such a little wimp about this. Be a man for once in your life. Look, Kevin is just nosing around because he's Mr. K.A.D. president, and he doesn't want to get, get into any trouble. Look, all of this is going to blow over. What's the big deal, anyway? All we did was give Marty the good time that she was looking for. So what? A good time? What are you talking about? What you got us to do to Marty is a big deal. About as big as it gets. Wait a minute. What I got you to do? What am I, your mother? Hey, you pushed me into this, Todd. You and Zach, you started the whole thing. Wait a minute. Hold on. You watch, pal. You locked the door, okay? We, could, we couldn't have done it without you. And then you did it, too. That's right, pal. You are as much involved in what happened here as we are. So you better hang with us. Hang together or hang separately? Who said that, Ben Franklin? I said it. You better remember it, pal, or you're going to be very, very sorry. Kevin, anything you say is between you and me. You know that. And I'm counting on you to tell me the truth. I, I don't know what this is all about. I told you. It's about Marty Saybrook and the Spring Fling Party. Now you saw her that you saw her here that night, didn't you? Yeah, of course. She she came with me. All right. So you brought her here, and then I don't know. We had a couple of drinks. Look, what is this all about? I'll explain it first. I want you to finish telling me everything that you know. Right. I don't know what you're after here. Marty got bombed out of her mind. Not that she was the only one. The whole party was pretty crazy. Yeah, then? She started dancing. Uh, sort of outrageous, you know? She got in a fight with Todd. He's one of the brothers. And uh, looked like she really needed some time out, so I brought her up here to my room. And then? She went down for the count. You should have seen the way she was belting the booze back. And then she pulled herself together, more or less, and called it a night. 
at any time during the evening, as far as you know, was Marty Saybrook alone with anyone? Yeah, she was alone with me. Why? All right, let's, let's go through this one more time. You say that you talked a while, then you left Marty sleeping it off in your room. Yes, that's right. I, I put a blanket on her, and then I went back downstairs to check on the party. Being the president of the fraternity, I was worried about things getting out of hand. And then when I came back up to check on her, she was still in bed. She was starting to come around. Did she say anything at that point, anything? No, no, she was... Still pretty out of it. So I left her alone again, and... Well, obviously, she sobered up enough to get herself together, because then she came downstairs, and, um... and she blew out of here. Look, what is this? What are all these questions about? One more thing. Kevin, is there anyone else who might have been in here with Marty when you left her alone? Yeah, anybody could have been, and the place was a madhouse. There's a couple guys that I know of for sure. Can you tell me who they are? Powell, my cousin. You just met him. And uh, a couple of the other brothers, Zach Rosen and Todd Manning. Come on in. Hey, what gives, Kevin? I thought you were going to give us a hand with that uh, cleaning brigade. Sorry, something came up. Uh, Andrew Carpenter, Zach Rosen, Todd Manning. Andrew is the rector at the uh, St. James in Landview. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, as a matter of fact, we were uh, just hearing about you. Oh, uh, yeah? What have you been hearing? Kevin and I were talking about the Spring Fling party. Uh-oh. Tell me, Reverend, what's your position on sin? I'm against it. Did you run into Marty Saybrook that night? Marty? Well, uh, Marty and I have sort of history, you know. No, I didn't know. Yeah. Well, nothing big. I mean, you know, we dated a few times, and then she dumped me for some town. And what's his name? Buckhide, Sledder. Swade Pruitt. Swade, right. Anyway, I wasn't expecting to see Marty that night, and I didn't think much of it. And then she showed. And you know Marty. She brings a lot to a party. This night, though, I think she brought a little too much, because we came in here to check on her, and she was so pie-eyed, she could barely keep her, her head up. No, she, she didn't keep her head up, remember? She was, she was out like a light. Yeah. It was kind of pathetic, actually. That's about it. End of story. End of story? As far as I can tell. I haven't seen her around in my sense. Thank you. I better get going. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the door. No, by my way. I don't like this. Wait a minute now. Who is this minister guy, okay? What if, what if Marty talked to him? Oh, you think she did? Who knows? I mean, she might have blabbed to a lot of people by now. Maybe she went to a doctor. I mean, maybe they already have, have baggies full of evidence that we had sex with her. But, but I stopped myself. I didn't finish. Powell, do not weasel your way out of this, okay? Who cares if you stopped? You started. No, no, no. Shut up, Rosen. Come on. You're, you're getting the dry heaves from Powell here. There's absolutely nothing to get panicked about. Yeah, that's what you're saying yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Rosen. All right, now, now, if this reverend character or Kevin or, or anybody else starts, starts hitting on us and we get boxed in, all we have to say is, yeah, sure. We slept with Marty Sandberg that night. What? That's right. You heard me. We go with the evidence. What's the crime anyway? She comes around here looking for a good time. All we did was oblige. End of story. End of problem. Comprend it? Hey, Andrew, wait a second. Look, you still haven't told me why you came around here asking all these questions about Marty. No, I know. I never did. I've, I've got to go. Look, is something wrong because Marty has been acting strange? Maybe she has a good reason. You know, maybe we all do. I don't know anymore. Can you and I please just, just stop the, this game of 20 questions? I wish I could. I'll see you. Did he, uh, he say anything? A lot. Yeah, but not in so many words. 
Kind of like you, Paul. What do you mean? Something is going on around here. Something to do with Marty Saybrook, and I think you know what it is. I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you do. And I think you better tell me, or whatever it is that did happen is going to blow up in your face. <laughs> <laughs>